Nikara is fully um, web-based, so it's a client server um, uh, system. So what you basically do, you upload your, for example, DTI uh, tractography data sets or DTI raw data as nifty files to our server. And uh, then you start the batch processing. Um, and uh, finally, um, you have the features extracted and the features are, for example, the, the connectome, basically the um, that the connectivity matrices, but processed in a way that you can easily make use of them. So you can, for example, use ontologies. They're all provided in Nikara, neurosurgical uh, ontologies that tell you which regions of interest uh, form and span certain subnetworks. You name it, for example, the uh, default mode network, which is well known, or other um, disease-related uh, subnetworks. You can filter um, all these connections between regions of interest. Um, these are more than 100,000, and filter them to the uh, disease-relevant subnetworks. So you really find a needle in the haystack. And then you can see um, whether, for example, default, the default mode network is getting more and more disconnected. That's something we see in Alzheimer's disease patients. Um, it's, it's known that AD is a um, disconnection syndrome. And with Nikara, you really can show this, you can deshiver this, you can see that frontal parts of the brain disconnect from more parietal parts in the default mode network. Um, it's, it's crystal clear. And uh, you can then use complex network measures, so further um, mathematical measures to assess the, the connectome as a whole, at a whole level, um, as a whole, and uh, really describe and derive biomarkers, more precise biomarkers uh, from the connectome at a very early stage of the disease. So that's the future that we believe um, uh, to go, not only for AD, um, we know that the, and not only we, so the community knows that the connectome is altered in uh, literally every brain disease or cognitive dysfunction. So with Nikara, you have a tool to really find these subtle changes in structural connectomes and function connectomes. So also you can run uh, DTI and resting state fMRI pipelines together, for example, if you measure DTI and resting state fMRI in, in the same run, for example, then, then you can see how strongly are two brain areas structurally connected and what's the, um, the functional interconnection between these nodes. Um, we use latest brain atlases, the Connectome Project brain atlas, for example, to really have high resolution data. And uh, we are open to uh, customer suggestions. And if they have their own pipelines that they want to see in the system, this is all uh, possible. And uh, we are very much looking for early adapters that uh, develop the product with us further and see the um, benefits and the potentials in the system.